Essential oils have been here thousands of years. It can support and help our body when used properly. With my own personal experience, um, I've been using different brands of essential oils. Name whatever brand you know, I've used them all. From the cheapest to the expensive line, I've used them all. And as an essential oil coach, my focus is to look after my clients and my family having a good quality of essential oils that is a reasonable price and made a research about essential oil uh, different companies. Plant therapy stood out. And to see all of you um, attending this uh, beginner's guide essential one-on-one -on -one. and um, I know it's a, I don't know if he, if you are already a user or a beginner or a pro in essential oil but then I'd like to share with you what what my knowledge is. so uh, can you open first all your uh, gum if it's okay with you said so then I can um, give a little prayer for you, if that's okay. If that's fine. Okay. So, um, can you close your eyes for me? Oh, great spirit, Father Sky, Mother Earth, the wind, the water, Batala, Atanaha, Jesus Christ, Allah, Buddha, creator of all that is. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this night. Thank you for the knowledge and wisdom and the learnings that we are having right now. Thank you for the people whom we are connected right now. And thank you for who we are and who we are to become. Thank you for, for everything that's happening to our life. And Creator E is commanded to send unconditional love in every cell of our body right now to bring fun, excitement, healing and abundance as we learn about essential oils. It is done, it is done, it is done, and so be it. Amen, namaste. Then open your eyes for me. Hi everyone, so I know you are all muted. I'll be having a Q&A um, after this. I'll give you a chance to, you know, to ask whatever you wanted. I'm gonna open now my screen to show you my slides. Okay. We're going to learn all about um, essential oils, what they are going to, to do with you. And today we are going to answer your top questions about essential oils and how can they help you. Before I start, I'd like to introduce myself to you. I am Rhoda Soriano. I am a certified essential oil health coach and a board certified holistic health practitioner from American Association of Drugless Practitioner. I am um, I am um, a theta healer. I do Reiki, and I'm, I am a theta healer instructor and a teacher also. This is a modality uh, that is another another story. I am also a managing director of the Raisin Rice 
company, which is a licensed company here. And um, I am the founder of Oil Therapy. And um, I began my journey in essential oil when I attended the course in Theta Healing, Intuitive Anatomy. This is a modality that focuses on prayer, tapping into creator's energy in a theta brain state and connecting to the subconscious mind. So this is a course where we study the human anatomy condition, disease and disorders using intuitive abilities. So um, every condition and uh, prevention in that uh, course was, um, there was there was essential oil in it. There is a plant according to whatever your decision or your condition or disease that you're having. So that's, that's my, uh, that's my essential or curiosity began. So, um, every condition and disease that we handle intuitively, um, our teacher was saying that, um, a plant is designed for a human body in certain organs, which is why I searched uh, how to, what are these essential oils? How can I get them? Where to get them? And so I got certifications. So um, as an essential oil coach, my aim is to, um, you know, transform the health of people, helping them achieve the highest level of their health. And my big mission is to help people transform their lives, doing it in a healthy living, doing it drug-free, toxic-free, and having a natural med medicine in a natural way. So as, an, uh, as, as um, an essential oil coach, I take care of the welfare of my clients also. So every, every time I have clients um, doing um, a, wealth, a wellness coaching to me, I always ask them if uh, they're already uh, seeing uh, a health professional doctor because we are not into replacing their medicine. We are improving their health through the help of essential oils. I wanted to, you to know um, about what are essential oils because there are so many essential oils right now in the market right now, but people are really uh, not aware of what is an essential oil is. So essential oils are aromatic compound that com comes from plant in the form of a liquid oil. They are volatile, meaning um, these are liquid volatile that evaporates easily because their molecules are 1,000 smaller than a fixed oil. Fixed oil or carrier oils are like coconut oil, um, avocado, almond oil, jojoba oil, anything that you use, olive oil, you know, uh, for skin hydration is a fixed oil. And they can float very light because their, their molecules are so tiny, are so small. And um, typically, um, an example of this is, for example, when you're cooking and you put an herb or spices in it, and then the aroma that goes through your nose is a part of essential oil aroma. And it's a part of like aromatherapy. And mostly, um, essential oils are made through distillation process, cold process, and sometimes a complex one is they put carbon dioxide or CO2 extraction um, in flowers like ilang ilang and jasmine to get the essential oil in it. Essential oils also are um, fat soluble, meaning they're fat as in they um, they are they go directly to your bloodstream and to your cells and um, will go deeply to do the, you know, um, healing or um, rejuvenating your skin or your, your cells. And another one, they are versatile. Versatile meaning essential oils has so many ways to use. So they can be a remedy for headache, for aches, pains, or even for digestive. One essential oil can be um, help of many 
solutions. Like if you have sleep disorders, that oil can be also used. And if you have skin issues, same oil can be used on that one. So they have so many, so many um, uses. And another one, a very important one to take note is essential oils are very potent and highly concentrated because um, one drop goes a long way. Did you know that, you know, 27, uh, tw like uh, 75 lemon rinds makes up a 15 ml of lemon essential oil. And if you wanted to have a 15 ml of lavender oil, you have to get 27 square feet of lavender flowers. That's how potent they are. So if I say one drop, you should put one drop, not more. So that's how they are very concentrated. So um, true essential oil, because so many essential oils are coming in the market and we are so overwhelmed which ones are true and which ones are not. So true essential oils are grown, usually grown wild or indigenous, uh, indigenous form. These are called some of the organics one. And they are picked on, uh, harvested on a peak time, meaning um, for, because mostly citrus oils like orange, mandarin, lemon, they will be peak when they are ripe and then they will get the skin of it because the skin is the one giving the essential oils of it. And also, they are also properly distilled. Um, many companies right now are, are um, doing a proper distillation without additional additives or uh, not tampered or no alteration, no, no solvent, no nasty things in it. Which is why three essential oils are not just labeled as 100% pure, but truly it will be on the purest form and no additive. So how essential oil can help? Essential oils are all in natural way and it can help common symptoms for everyday uh, concern and one good quality of essential oil is it balances our well-being. So essential oil can help support our body in many ways like essential oil can help regulating your immune health, support your respiratory health, help you regulate emotion and then boost your energy level in the body and because sometimes you know people tend to wake up very tired. So some of the essential oils can help them lift up their mood and give them more energy. And ease your nervous tensions and relaxes and balance the body. So essential oils are a type of um, alternative medicine, you know. So what are essential oils, what essential oils can do for you? Many um, people come to me and ask me, um, can essential oil cure what I have? That's uh, the most question I'm getting from people who comes to me. And my answer to them is, essential oils can cure disease and it cannot be a replacement for your, our modern medicine, but essential oils can help a wide range of symptoms and concerns when used correctly. Meaning, um, the aromatic compound of an essential oil can do and can affect, you, affect your, your brain on a cellular level. So, for example, um, if your uh, body is uh, having tension, and for example, um, if you inhale an aroma, it will go directly, like 20 seconds, it will go to your olfactory system and it will stimulate your limbic system, which create changes in your mood and feelings and emotions. And when you are feeling something in pain, that pain, when, when it goes through, when the essential 
tap onto that pain, it immediately give a relief to that pain. So essential oil also acts on the mind and the body to achieve, achieve a deeper healing. One, uh, one example is when you're in the hospital and when you see someone entering in an emergency room, what do they do? They put the person on a sedative injection or they help the person first to relax before they can do something. Meaning when you are when you are you know, when you are relaxed and the and the body is at ease, the body is better letting go of any toxins in the body and can do and accumulate healthy circulations. Because sometimes if our body is so blocked, that's the time your body is having a hard time to heal itself. And essential oils are to the rescue to, to balance it. So essential oil um, really helps our body to return to the natural balance and to return to homeostasis. Homeostasis is the balance between your body, mind, and, and your, old, your physical being as in holistically whole. So it, it, um, it will give you a balance wherein as a whole, not just treating the symptoms itself. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm just admitting one person. <laughs> okay. And um, another one is, why is it important to know your essential oils? So many people are like me, um, when I didn't know about essential oil, when I was a beginner of essential oil, I just, I just buy essential oil everywhere I see. And um, I just rely on the smell, I just rely on the price, but I didn't know really what is an essential oil and what is the importance of knowing what really is essential oil. So these are the, you know, uh, essential oils are not made the same. Make sure that if you're buying oils, you have to have, you have to take a look on these qualities. The company, uh, the company where you're buying your essential oil should have a standard quality and a transparency, meaning they should give you what, what's inside essential oil and how and where are they getting it. And another one is, um, Essential oils has a scientific name or Latin name according to the species of essential oils. So make sure that when you buy essential oil, there comes um, the Latin name or the specific name designed for that essential oil. And another one is the GCMS testing. These are um, gas chromatography, which is an analytical report that shows identification, separation, and partial quantification of molecules in the essential oil that you're buying. In other words, it's like the food label of the food you're buying. So essential oils has a label also like that. And you can see those MS and GS report in the companies of the brand that you're buying. Normally, they, every essential oil, they have a report on this one, what are the testings, you know, what are the components in that essential oil. So these are the, the three important factors that you must know when you are buying essential oils. So essential oil safety, of course, we before we use essential oil, we should know what are the how you know what are the safety use of essential oils. Number one, when you are in doubt, you have to do dilute always or diffuse. Dilute is you have to add carrier oil. Never ever ever put essential oils in your skin without any carrier oils. 
because our skin is different from one another. So there are people who can who can tolerate other oils, and there are people who can who cannot tolerate tolerate even the gentlest essential oil like lavender. And the second was read the label and instruction before using. The, mo, like me, I usually before I usually put something and drop and you know, uh, who cares about the label and who cares about the you know the instructions? I'll just do it because I saw they have done like this, you know. So always read the label and instructions before using. And um, when you're applying it in your skin, you have to put a, a patch test. For example, there are some, so many essential oils which are called hot oils. Hot oils are, are like cinnamon bark, um, oregano. These are hot oils that when you put in your skin, it has a burning sensation, a tingly burning sensation, and sometimes can irritate your skin. So to be safe, always do a patch test if you're going to apply it in your skin, especially on your children. And for the earth, our grandma, grandpa, elderly people, because their skin are so young that um, when you put essential oils to them, remember they are very potent. So never, ever, ever let your children um, get essential oil by themselves and put it in their skin. Okay. So um, if diffusing essential oil for the first time, you have to go on less less and low because your body is um will be adjusting to it because everything you inhale remember everything everything you inhale it goes directly to your olfactory system and when when your limbic system is um uh, allowed already to distribute it in every cells of your body your body will distinguish, oh, who's this? Per who's this? Is this uh, our uh, alliance or something? Oh, it's sometimes more people more than are than having toxicity level because they start very, very high. Another one, um, this is very controversial because FDA do not actually do grading of essential oils, food grading of essential oils. They have a list of herb and essential oils that is generally recognized as safe. So this is grass. So it is like um, a standard that it is only used for flavors, but not for nutrition. So these standards are for flavorings, but not for taking internally as medicinal purposes or supplements. That's why um, um, I am very, very careful to the essential oils which are being taken internally. So it, you have to know your oils and you have to have um, a licensed aromatherapist before you can ingest one oil, okay? So, so um, as a conclusion, essential oils have been here thousands of years. Before you go, this is very important, the basic guide of diluting essential oils. When I was starting um, with essential oils, I thought that I can put 5, 10, 15, 20 in carrier oil and apply it in my body. And when I was uh, studying essential oils, there is a guidelines when diluting it into your skin. So there is 1% dilution. This can be used for children below the age of, uh, no, over the age of two. And if you wanted to put it in your daily use for beauty regimen, you can use this dilution. If you wanted to put a cream, yeah, um, I usually put, uh, organic cream, no, no scent, and I put uh, frankincense to put my, uh, what's this, my uh, uh, wrinkles or dark spots into, you know, uh, removing all the blemishes in it. I use the frankincense. And 2% dilution is for children 
over the age of uh, until age of 10. So this can be good for children who's having some uh, maybe warts or some um, wounds. And another one, there is a 3% dilution, which is uh, good for uh, localization. Uh, like if you have joint pain that is intermittent, you can put your dilution on two teaspoons, like nine drops you, or 10 ml. If you have a roller bottle, 10 ml, you just have to put nine drops and then put carrier oil in it. Okay, and another one is 5% dilution. This is recommended for people who's having um, not severe, but continuous aches, body, pain, body aches or pains or acne or something. And another one is the 10% dilution. So 10% dilution is recommended for a severe case. Either you're going to put it in um, swelling, inflammation, uh, inflammation, just to support this, um, you know, uh, support your aches and body aches. And what are the uses of essential oils? Um, when I was uh, starting with essential oil, I only know that I can diffuse it and put it in the skin. So. We can also diffuse in the morning or before bedtime. In the morning, I normally do is I uh, put a blend of orange, peppermint, and cedar wood to boost my energy and to feel happy because it's it's my happy happy blend. And if you want, if you wanted to clean your house or uh, be energized going to work that is a good um, option and you can also apply it to the skin that's the that's the normal use of essential oil like putting it carrier oil and i this is the one i'm of my favorite i put essential oils in my bath especially in my salt bath or sugar sugar bath um i put a uh, Himalayan salt in the bathtub and then pour some lavender, geranium, and a bit of peppermint. And then I open the tub and then I let all the, the water dissolve this, this uh, essential oil and salt and then I soak in. And it normally gives you a feeling of relaxation that um, for all the stress things, it's coming out and after you you've taken about, you'll see the, the result of it. I use it also into your into my hair. Normally, it essential oils uh, promotes healthy scalp, thickens your hair, uh, such as rosemary, geranium, lavender, and lemongrass is very good to strengthen the hair follicles. And also, you can use it in your body affected area or like you, if you have sprains, if you have knee, knee, joint, knee pain or joint pain or any muscle spasm, you can use it. And also you can use it in the car. I have a diffuser car and I normally put some essential oil there instead of using um, car freshener. And the good thing about uh, essential oil, it has many properties that eliminate bacteria. So that's one how I do it. And um, there is also uh, another use, which is you can use it on your cleaning products. Cleaning products is you can put um, lemon or, or eucalyptus in your cleaning soap and put water and then use it as a countertop. Um, you know, um, washer or, or, or sanitizer or something. So if you are very new to essential oils, you may wonder what, what essential oils you wanted to start with. So um, these are the essential oils that I recommend for people who are starting with essential oils because these are the oils that you might be needing for an emergency use.
sometimes, you know. So lavender, lavender um, has a name of Lavandula angustifolia. So one of the most um, popular oil in the world, very gentle to people like from, from children to elder. And you can use them neat, neat meaning you can use them without terrier oil. But make sure first to do the patch test before you apply it in your skin. And it's known for promoting relaxation and good for your skin and a stress relief because it has, uh, you know, it can remove any anxiety or worry. So the, uh, the, it's linked to uh, also for a blood sugar level. So there was a study in, in, um, in a research where they have um, included essential oil um, to some of the people and the result was astounding because uh, some of the people who's having the aroma therapy of lavender has um, performed well in their blood sugar level. The, this has having a compound of linalil acetate and linalol. So linalil is good for um, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial nature, and it's known for calming the skin. And also there was a study that linalol has been uh, good for anti-anxiety, which is very good for people who are having emotional issues. So the safety uses of this one is it's it's very gentle for all. So this is a lavender for children, for elder, and for us. Another one is lemon. Lemon is lemon citrus lemon. So this is excellent also for the odorizer, household cleaner, and good for immune stimulant. So um, it is very good for uh, seasonal allergies. And as I say, it has a natural antihistamine. It is also good for your circulatory system, especially your lymphatic system. It is a uh, has the ability to you know to to clear your mind. Actually, it is um, one component of an ingredient where uh, people are when when stressed people are inside the room, and then when you diffuse lemon lavender and frankincense, the scent of it immediately calms the people who are chaotic and, you know, stressed. So it has a limonin, which makes it a good, um, which classified as monoterpene as a solvent of cholesterol. So D-limonin has been clinically dis um, used to, to uh, con uh, like uh, dissolve cholesterol containing gallstone. So it is. Uh, it has a gastric um, acid neutralizing effect that is very good for GERD. Um, you know the heartburn and gastro and uh, gastro esophagus reflux, acid reflux, and this bilimanin has the property uh, to fight against certain types of cancer because it has the ability to to um, lessen the growth of cancer cells and triggers the death of cancer cells. So actually there was a study of people uh, in 2004 well, where they um, put lemon essential oil in people who's having you nausea know, or vomiting, so especially in pregnant people. So it was shown that um, pregnant people are very good in inhaling lemon, lemon that reduces their morning sickness. And we have eucalyptus. Eucalyptus has so many uh, different kind of species. So we're talking about eucalyptus radiata. So it has a cool and uh, um, soothing effect that can be very good for body aches, for respiratory system, and can be good for household cleaners. It it is very good also for inflammations. Like uh, you can put it in your joint, body aches, and 
You know, it's a powerhouse of that. And it boosts your... Have you tried inhaling eucalyptus and then suddenly you are awake? That's, that's the, the effect of eucalyptus. And it is also high in 1.8 cineol. 1.8 cineol is a, a, a often called eucalyptol. Um, it is very good to reduce a number of microbes in the air. And um, it has a study, a study shows that um, it is very effective reducing pain, swelling, and um, inflammation. Actually, there was a study uh, research uh, for one guy who was having a knee surgery or something, and then this guy cannot cannot walk because of the pain. So what the aromatherapy had done is they let him inhale. They put a drop of uh, uh, essential oil eucalyptus in a water, and then let him inhale. Then after minutes, he is going to the therapy to walk. He the pain reduces and the fear of walking was very good. He did not even have an anxiety of the fear of walking. Um, safety is you have to be very careful applying essential oil uh, eucalyptus in kids because it's very strong. And do not apply it near to your eyes because it has a stinging effect. And another one is a tea tree. The tea tree is a uh, melaleuca or melaleuca alternifolia, one of the most versatile essential oils in the essential oil world. Um, you have to have, have it in your collection because it is very good for infections like ear infections, fungal, um, any issues like uh, antibacterial, so when you combine them with any other oils, these are very good, you know, to remove those fungus or something. And also there, it is very good for uh, blemishes and also for acne. And some of the, some of the study shows that um, when they have put 5% tea tree in um, topical gel and they put for the acne people, and the result was very, uh, very, very great, as in the, the acne improved much better rather than the people who's not using it. So um, T3 has, has a different approach when it comes to uh, your body because it has, it, it always go to external. So it's very good for your skin especially people who are having rashes or skin allergies or issues. But always um, do a patch test before you do it because some people, um, even though uh, it's very good for the skin, they are not um, um, okay with tea tree. Either they switch to tea tree or manuka. It's another oil. So, um, one safety use of tea tree is do not take this internally because um, it can, you know, if, if you're using it as a mouthwash or, or in a toothpaste, you have to spit it out. Do not uh, take it internally because otherwise you're going to have uh, digestive issues or hives or the worst maybe is dizziness sometimes, you know. Um, another one is the favorite of many. This is peppermint. Peppermint is uh, menta peperita. Menta peperita um, is very good for all kinds of aches, body aches, stomach aches, but not heartache. Uh, so it depends on you. So heartache, it's up to you. Okay. So uh, it's it's also an energy um, booster. You can put it also in your baking thing. You know. You know. You can. You can do it. But make sure you have a good quality oil on if you're adding it in your food. Energy booster also. Um, it gives clarity to the mind. When you are feel lazy, tired, exhausted, sniff a peppermint and then immediately your, your, your mood will, will shift. The presence of menthol in peppermint is a powerhouse which makes it a cooling and analgesic effect. 
Um, it also suits allergy symptoms and some of the stuffy nose. Um, it also has a study um, about uh, they they stud they put a study in two thousand seven uh, about irritable bowel syndrome. They put patients uh, on fifty percent of uh, you know they put aromatherapy, diffusing, and so many stuff in in people who was having IBS, and fifty percent re reduction was uh, the result to the people um, against the people who had not done it. So there was also a study that um, if you combine peppermint and eucalyptus together with a matching of lemon or lavender, it can reduce headaches, tension headaches, migraines, and very, very severe headache. So it can reduce those things. So safety of peppermint is you have to uh, keep it away from children, especially young children, because it has a heat and cold effect. And it's, uh, sometimes it, it stings to your skin. Another one is rosemary. Rosemary is, a, is the, the significant uh, scientific name is Rosemary's officinals. Tractotype is cineol. Cineol is one, one type of species of rosemary because there are so many different rosemaries. But it depends on the altitude where it was planted, where it was harvested, where it was, where where's the location, where's the country. So um, there there will be sometimes a different smell, different different uh, approach on rosemary, and different uh, types of how this rosemary can do to your body. So it is used extensively to clean the air and spread disease. So um, this is very good for airborne something to diffuse in your air in combination with cinnamon. Okay. There is also, same, same as eucalyptus, there is a 1.8 cineo, which is very good for digestive, respir uh, no, respiratory system. And um, there is a camphor, camphor um, compound which is a very good substance to, um, you know, uh, it is, the camphor is normally used to vapor, vapor rubs, vapor steam, but you know, if you are having a large doses of camphor, um, these are not good for children and not good for pets. Okay, it makes addition to your shampoo and your hair. Actually, I use this one to thicken my hair and to uh, clean my scalp. Okay, rosemary is very good for the memory. People who are, there was a study about rosemary, a cognitive performance, um, a study of cognitive performance that uh, there was 20 volunteer um, who were who used a diffused rosemary and they, the result was showed that improved per performance at a higher concentration when using essential oils like rosemary. And it is found that um, rosemary is very, very good substance to, uh, to eliminate E. coli, something like that, and candida albicans, you know. So, yeah. It also assists to balance our blood sugar. But um, the safety of rosemary is you have to use minimal uh, diffusion or sometimes uh, I am not recommending rosemary to the peep, to the person or women who are pregnant because there is a substance uh, that is not going to do well with pregnant people. And if you are a bit, uh, uh, diagnosed as epileptic, you have to minimize the use of rosemary. So, cinnamon bark. So, cinnamon venum, cinnamonum verum is well known for its immune booster. Cinnamon and rosemary and eucalyptus are one of the, the, the substance or the the ingredients where uh, it is very good 
to eliminate fungal viruses if you uh, diffuse it. So if you have, if you feel that something is going to happen in your house where people are getting sick, you diffuse cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary with lemon, and that will wipe out all the nasty things in the air that you're having. So it also used to have, have a weight management. So it depends on you whether you wanted to gain weight or not. So it was used as that. And then it is very good for blood sugar um, issues. So, you know, it levels, it regulates your blood sugar. And the cinnamaldehydes uh, is a very good uh, component where um, gives you uh, a pale yellow liquid substance, and it's an uh, it has an antiviral, antifungal thing thingy. So every time you you inhale this cinnamon that you don't like remember it's good for you but if you put it in the food like cinnamon it's a different different smell also so um the safety of cinnamon is it is a hot oil remember this cinnamon is very hot when you put it in your skin so it has a burning the last one i guess is orange so orange is citrus sinensis. It is the most best-selling essential oil in the world. And it is, for me, it is my happy oil. Every time I use this one, I feel happy. And it has a high concentration of delumining like all oh, lemon, tangerine, mandarin, uh, which is very good as solvent cholesterol. And um, it has also, uh, it has also um, an addition to your household cleaners. You can also put um, household, uh, for example, if you have a stain in your, in your room and you cannot even remove it, add a drop of cit uh, orange or any citrus uh, essential oil and you will see it will immediately be removed. And another one is um, the humble orange is a natural tumor fighting agent because of the delimonin. Um, it's clinically, uh, as, it's, it, as I have said, it is a solvent of cholesterol. So clinically, it dissolves a cholesterol containing, you know, the gallstones in your area. So um, it has been shown in a study that um, it helps stop the growth of human lung, human lung and colon cancer. So because of these flavonoids antioxidants, it can stop the growth and triggers cancer death when you are using essential oil like orange, which is why I like it. And it's great for your immune system and in your lymphatics, you know, drainage. So it's what I do is um, I normally put uh, oil in a carrier, uh, a drop of uh, lemon in a carrier oil. And when I feel something that, um, because sometimes you feel that you have some nodes in your body, right? So you just apply it everywhere and you just have to um you if you have a trampoline you jump but in, if you have a vibration thing you you just vi vibrate yourself so that all this lymph will be converted into liquid and it will be drained through your urine or anywhere else so that's how it is so um one factor is when you are applying citrus oils or any essential oil that is citrus in your body. Do not go out because um, it has a photosensitivity. So it might as well burn your skin or have a sunburn effect. And 
our so ancestors have, have used this and it is proven that it can support and help our body when used properly. So let us make this part, you know, of our lifestyle, of our, of our health, not just like because it's of the situation right now, we have to use this, then after that, we're gonna keep it away. Now I, I, I put it in my daily routine that um, I even have uh, essential oils everywhere in my bag, in my purse. Because every time I feel something, I just rub essential oils on my um, uh, temple or I just have to sniff essential oils. And um, as a final one, um, oil therapy aim, our aim is to, uh, to give you a support and guide you for your essential oil journey. So the, for the people who are in love with essential oils right now, oil therapy to, you know, to educate people on how to use essential oil properly on a safety, uh, a safe, a safety thing. And uh, we wanted to deliver high quality of 100% pure and organic essential oils. We wanted to provide people a reasonable price of essential oil product that you don't have to, you know, break your bank just to have essential oils. These are, this is our aim. That's why we put our page in the Facebook. So, I'd like to share with you, Essential Oil Therapy is accredited seller of the plant therapy here in Dubai, in United Arab Emirates. With my own personal experience, um, I've been using different brands of essential oils. Name whatever brand you know, I've used them all. From the cheapest to the expensive line, I've used them all. And as an essential oil coach, my focus is to look after my clients and my family having a good quality of essential oils that is at a reasonable, you know, reasonable price. And when I seek and made a research about essential oil, uh, different companies, plant therapy stood out. And um, the plant therapy, why plant therapy? So plant therapy, um, he has the heart of uh, safety and educating people uh, using their product. Um, they give and offer pure high quality essential oils, natural, not naturally, and um, they have a body care, body products, and also a kid safe essential oils for our young children. They also have a certification testing, like they have um, USDA organic certification, free from GMO and harmful pesticide. All organic products are certified through EcoCert, ICO, ICO, which is um, which is saying that they are using this organic thing to conserve the the planet in reducing you know environmental pollution. And another one is every oil in their website has third party testing, which is the GCNMC, what I'm referring to you. Uh, it's like the food label of essential oil. And they have a GMP certification awarded to them, which is a cosmetic good manufacturing practices, you know, which is in other words, they have, um, you know, um, the ingredients, uh, from the ingredients to the production to the packaging label, they have meet, meet all the standards in it. And they have a Leaping Bunny certification where um, it is very hard to achieve because uh, this is a certification that protects animals and will never use any, any test on their products on animal and use only cruelty-free ingredients so the other one is their safety they provide dilution guides they give additional um, caution and safety use on how to use essential oils and um, 
They provide safety information using oils with children, pets, nursing mom, and pregnant women. And the quality of their ingredients is at the highest level because they have organic line, they have kids safe, and they provide third-party testing. And our most, uh, you know, uh, likable thing is they give affordable price of the product because they, they said that, um, you know, quality essential oils and natural products don't have to break your bank. They offer fair and affordable prices on all of their products. They, you know, you don't have to uh, deal with middlemen just to get the product uh, because it's from, it's from the product to your home. So basically there's no middleman. And um, this is not an MLM company where you have to buy every month to accumulate and then give accumulating oils. I've been there. I I love those oils, the one that they're selling. But you know, um, I'm in a cost-effective way where uh, I only buy whatever I have to buy because that's my need. Okay, and the other one is they are giving back also. Uh, a part of their uh, people first company is they're giving back to any of their um, uh, people. So they have this, um, they have this philanthropy, they created this planting kindness, a philanthropy program that committed to making world a better place. So they gave those um, uh, profit to the people who most needed it. They're giving it to, you know, global community. So what do they have is a kid safe line. So Kids Safe Line, um, they have a product that includes blend that are tailored for little ones. Ideal with, you know, for our uh, kiddo that uh, we don't have to be uh, overwhelmed. What to use? What, is it safe for my child? Is it this one? It's a ready-made one for them and especially formulated for them to promote calming and gentle way. And we can even use it, and pregnant pregnant women can use it also. So they have the the, the single oils that is kid safe. They have this blends, which is synergy, it's like combination of different oils, and they have the roll-ons in it, and they have the organic line. So these oils are formulated for children, and the, the goodness of this is we can even use it also if you have a sensitive skin because it is designed for a sensitive skin also. And also they have designed um, diffuser for children. So these are uh, these diffusers are very nice because they have music, um, changeable ears, they have lights, and um, you, can, you can switch on and switch off the music if they wanted to sleep, you know. Um, and then these oils are very, very um, affordable and a high quality one. So another one is for us, it's they have a single oils also, which is like lemon, lavender, peppermint, and single ones, and they have a blends, which is uh, formulated for certain conditions or for certain uh, symptoms or concerns, they have the, the blends also. And another one is organic line. They have organic line and a set. And last one is they have also diffuser set. These are small set, diffuser set. And there is a passive one where one, one example of passive one if, uh, is uh, you just drop the oil in there. And then once you drop it, uh, it will spread to your room. And then you don't need any electricity to that. And this is another one, which is their aroma fuse diffuser. So, now, um, I'd like to know if you have any questions um, and all our product also, um, you can place an order through our Facebook page, Oil Therapy, or you just go to the raisinrice.com shop page. Um, so let's if, call it a night. Thank you for joining everyone and I hope to see you often in our page.
So, um, good night, everyone. And thank you for being here. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Put a review in our oil therapy. Don't forget that. Put a review. Okay? Done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.